Hello viewers, today we are going to see how to pass the data between the two components in AngularJS. So here I have an example of two controller which I am going to pass from one controller to the another controller. So how to achieve is going to see today. So there is a many ways to do it. So today we are going to see one uh, version which is uh, by using the root scope. Okay, let's go and uh, write the code here. So let's uh, go and uh, reference uh, the reference the script which I have, which is already I downloaded and kept my. Okay. Okay. I have a script folder. I think that. Okay, angular.js. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, let's do this with the uh, Angular uh, with this uh, Visual Studio code that will be more convenient for us. Okay, so with uh, we'll zoom it. Okay, so let's start writing our script. okay cool so next the script okay so here we going to write our custom type script which is okay javascript okay cool so now we go ahead and define our app angular js apps we going to defend just we call it as uh, the name called uh, the default with examples always we get right so we call it as app okay so let's defend the um, angular dot module so we call it as my app that's fine our app name which is uh, we call it as uh, my app and yes it has no providers empty fine so now i going to create the two controller so our requirement is that i want to pass the data or i want to listen the data from one controller to the another controller if something is uh, happened or changed from that model or some scope we have which i want to pass to the second component or the child component how to do is what we're going to do now so we call it as parent control function so here so we pass the controller which uh, we are using the scope and the another thing is which you need to define is the root scope okay with this root scope is the key which we going to pass the data over the controller okay cool Okay, let's copy and uh, duplicate that. We call it as child. Okay, cool. So here, so I I do some kind of uh, logic where, whenever uh, some message uh, want to push from the parent controller, or uh, even we can have some meaningful name like admin. And uh, the user, okay, user control. So admin sends some message, then user also can send some message that can be received by admin. At admin whatever send message, user can receive kind of, okay. So that's the logic we're going to write now. So let's uh, 
we write the scope the function okay so admin push okay admin push or something like uh, admin summit okay something like that okay so there is a scope there cool so same likewise user summits okay here whenever that that event happens suppose uh, uh, this admin submit function which I call it uh, to the button submit okay so there is some message admin like to push to the user so that I want to listen from the from the controller controller two. Okay, that is what the goal here. Uh, so let's uh, now we listen root dot scope admin message. Okay, equal to just the scope of the current scope model. Mm, we call it as okay something like txt message okay so to a message or call it as admin message okay the same likewise so whatever the user going to submit we call it as the user message and the text box which is the user text box okay cool so let's go and uh, define our app now so ng our app okay my app cool now there is a two div which i going to define okay one is the controller for in controller for the admin and the second div is the user controller okay then here I going to add a text box type text box okay and the type button okay submit so same thing okay so now here the ng model for the admin text admin message and then ng so the method for admin sorry admin submit so this is a function on button submit we, we are calling the same likewise so so model for the user just replace with that user okay cool and uh, for the click function so which is user summit cool so we are ready so what is the thing is so one of our the button click of admin so admin will be called this method so now so in in inside the controller of admin I want to receive my message okay how to do that it's very simple so here inside the admin controller I going to add uh, the label child message okay then you can call here 
the user message same likewise we can call it over here which is uh, admin message and uh, the root scope is admin message which is we are calling here okay cool so let's go and refresh the page okay cool so we have a problem which is uh, okay so maybe my the scripts are not working Okay, looks like my path is wrong. Oops, sorry. Okay, so let's refresh now. Okay, we have some other issue. what else the mistake I did uh, okay sorry mm, okay cool so this is the things so I just made a very very silly mistake which is uh, happened okay fine cool this uh, should work now okay cool so now I will going to message to my user hi user let's submit from this cool so okay uh, we can uh, differentiate a bit more so we can call it as such here and this is a kind of child controller okay cool. i will get some space here okay cool so now admin is messaging hi user okay so child is receiving as a, as we know that this is a different controller and this is the different controller which uh, both co controller which is communicated from the controller admin which is uh, able to receive the data to the user controller now let's from child to the parent or uh, you, you can call it as the child to the another controller uh, let's uh, try it hi admin okay cool let's submit cool so we got the messages so now we can able to pass the data from one controller to the another comp controller so this is the one method which is uh, really a f it's a familiar one which uh, we can use so what we do is so there is a root scope which we need to inject so whatever the data you like to push it to uh, over the 
network so you can use the root scope and you can push that so that is the uh, one option so the another option we will see you in the f future videos so this is one the useful option which uh, you you must to try it so thanks for watching the video stay tuned for the channel and if you are not subscribed before my channel please do subscribe so that you get the regular notification if i upload any new videos